there friends I just thought I'd do another quick little update although my videos never seem to be quick but I will try to make this quick because I think my battery is gonna die we've had such gorgeous weather recently uh, today is April 5th and the weather has been absolutely phenomenal so I've been taking every opportunity I can in between of course taking care of the kids and everything else um, I come out here and I do as much as I can so I thought I would do a little video since we've had such really good weather everything is growing in very well so uh, we'll start over here here's the echinacea garden uh, that's just beginning to come back and my task today is to go around and clean out all around the base of the plants. Not only this echinacea, but all of my plants. Like right here is lavender that will come back. So I'm going to be cleaning out all the plants. We've got dianthus there. And every plant is going to get a side dressing of nutrients. Uh, like a boost of fertilizer and compost and a different uh, comp composition that I make for my plants. So I started over here, we've got mullen, and you can see things have a side dressing. Foxglove there. That is blanket flower. Now I don't see anything on it coming back, but I'm gonna I'm not going to cut that out just yet. Like the flowers should come back. Um, so hopefully it's just late. And then my bulbs that I just put in the ground. I've got my rose coming back. Very excited about that. That's beautiful. That's called um, ketchup and mustard rose. And then we've got parsley, dianthus, larkspur, chamomile. Valerian. I have Valerian that grows. Uh, I guess it receives itself. Um, well, yeah, of course it does receive itself. The, um, the little seeds have uh, propellers on them, much like the dandelion. So they go flying everywhere and they very readily receive themselves. So right here, all of that is Valerian. So everywhere I find it, I move it if it's not in an ideal spot. And uh, I put it somewhere else because it is a beautiful plant and it's very medicinal. I do talk about that one a lot in my videos, but uh, just letting you know, it is very easy to grow. This was my very first one that I had and from this one, I have had many, many, many others pop up like right there and you'll see here, there's another one and then there's another baby. There's some more babies that are popping up here. So I'll be picking them out, putting them in pots, and probably giving them away to neighbors and friends and family and anybody that wants them. I also have some echinacea right there that I see. Um, maybe reseeded itself uh, from its original location. There's another one there. There were a couple more in there, and I've already transplanted them. So let's see, this whole bed here is my medicinal garden. So I have some things that are going to go in here. I have feverfew that's going to go in here, mullen, um, and some yarrow, some Roman chamomile, and the other chamomile. This is German chamomile right here. And that prolifically recedes itself. So I have a spot where I had one plant and it receded itself and then it every year just recedes itself. So I have tons of the chamomile growing all over. But we just finished this bed. This bed was full of rocks. And you can see all the rocks around the garden bed here. Well, there's rocks everywhere. There, there was rocks underneath the soil here. Not far down in the soil is a layer of rock. So, of course, in my beds are rocks. So we're constantly trying to get all the rocks out of the bed. So we did a uh, sifting of the soil in this bed and we're doing it over there. And you can see here's our, our sifting process here. 
there's a big pile of rocks and I'm dispersing them all over, making nicer borders everywhere. Oh, there's some bees that are fighting. Almost hit me. So I just finished this garden bed over here. We have a combination of vegetables and herbs and flowers over here. And over here we have um, choy, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, Spanish onions, kohlrabi, beets, uh, broccoli, uh, that is collard, we have garlic right there, we have leeks, I don't know if I said leeks, um, and then there's lettuces all mixed in there, and then right here are uh, turnips. And I think you can see here, where's my finger? Oh, there it is. Uh, right there are the turnips coming up. So I have three different kinds of turnips because we absolutely love turnips. They are so good. So they're just starting to come up there. And uh, let's see, we'll carry on, carry on. I finished this bed here. I decided to do something a little different with it. So um, I'll show you that as it grows in. But this area, I have been working on this and working on this. So let's start here because it looks so pretty because the, the bulbs are beginning to come up. I have lots of things that are coming back from last year like the daisies and the dianthus and my rose. I have two rose bushes there. And then here's garlic and onions and leeks and cabbage and brussels sprouts and broccoli rub and broccoli and onion what else shallots and we have some blackberry bushes here on the ends and then over here is the future site and that is why is this here? i don't know and here's the future site of an elderberry bush so that's an upcoming project so and then over here on the outside lane here i have a whole tray of lettuces that are ready to grow in and most of these here are mustards and the middle ones are collard and they like the shade so on this side of the trellis it stays shady and the peas don't mind the shade and you can see the peas coming up. And in between each of the peas, I grew those peas in the greenhouse over the winter in a container, a milk jug container. And then I planted, I planted them, I guess a little oversized space so that in between each one, I could put a seed. And then you can see, cause I think peas, you only need like three or four inches between the peas. And then over here on this side, oh well, this is my meditation area. I always talk about this. And this is my meditation garden actually here that I'm always working on. So then on this side, oh here, here we got radishes. The radishes just started popping up today. All of them. So we've had a lot of really warm weather, warm nights as well. Although we have some cold nights coming up. So we'll see how all this does with the cold nights. So we have all lettuces here. Celery, some more Brussels sprouts. Um, there's spinach, collard greens, different kind of lettuces. And I choose these for their health benefits. You can see the color of them. They have a compound in them called anthocyanin. And that is a very uh, good... Uh, what are they considering? Enzyme? Compound? I'm not sure. But it's something that's very beneficial to your body. Very healthy. Same thing with the red cabbage over there. And I've got red Brussels sprouts or purple Brussels sprouts. Well, it's called red darling. Red darling Brussels sprouts. So, and then same thing with the kale. That beautiful color. I try to have a mix of vegetables like that for their extreme health benefits. So we're gonna carry on, carry on this way. 
And I'm getting ready to clean the rest of the vegetables out of here for the next phase in my hoop house, but we have to repair that. The wind, the wind did damage. Like we get high winds in this area and it ripped the sides off. Those things there. So crank, uh, re really reinforced it. So this thing is not going anywhere now. The wind is not gonna rip it, but the wind did do damage to the side, I guess. So we're gonna just fix that. Um, when we have a chance, but over here, over here, I'm starting at this end and working my way down to begin cleaning out and planting. Uh, but in this bed here, well, this is my pollinator strip. I've got all kinds of flowers on the edge there, and in the middle there, that's Dominic's area, and he wants to grow pumpkins and cantaloupe and different things in there. And then I have some flowers. I'm trying to solve a drainage issue in this area with that setup that I have there. So we'll have to see if it works. And here, I made this walking trench here. I did this a little differently because I wanted to build up this area for carrots. I have not been successful with carrots in the past. Like I've grown carrots, but they haven't really been that great. So this is my attempt. I have a couple of different kinds of carrots and this is my attempt to try to grow carrots. So we'll see. We will keep you updated on that one too. And then in the back is more collard greens because we just really love, love, love these greens. They grow all winter and um, they taste amazing in the cold weather. Um, their leaves taste even better. And they can tolerate the frost. They can tolerate below zero temperatures. And that is bunching onions there. We've got some celery there and oregano and rosemary. And then in this back row, we've got all kinds of flowers that will grow up nice and big and tall. And that's the future area. And then out there are the strawberries and the greenhouse. So that's it for now. That is all the update I have. I'm still just out here working on the rest of these beds and you can see how these all have the side dressing here so uh, I thought I would take a pause and take a video because everything just looks so beautiful you can see here I'm working on this sitting area and uh, Gianna brought this home the other day um, she saw this tree they had these beautiful flowers and she took the branch off so I put it in this pot with these other things and I've been watering it and uh, we'll see we'll see if it grows roots um, this is just this is the other side of the medicinal garden and my little sitting area so that's it for now uh hope you have fun in your backyard just like i'm having fun in my backyard we will catch you in the next video bye